name's Freddie King. Um, I'm based in Edinburgh, originally from London. Father's from Guinea and West Africa, mother's from Ukraine. Um, I'm a jazzy. Actually, this is seriously the first time I've ever indulged in the fringe, but I got free um, shows at St. Giles Cathedral. It was just a voice and jazz guitar, uh, which was really exciting. And then um, we were in the wash bar uh, for the, the free, free shows after the cathedral. We went down to the wash, which was about five minutes away. And uh, this Sunday, um, I'm in Wiggum's wine bar. And uh, the great pianist, uh, John Colleone, Mel Torme's pianist, flying in for the day. So I'll be performing with him at Wiggum's at three o'clock in the afternoon and then doing a midnight show in the jazz bar in Chamber Street with him before he flies off. Well, it's, 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 it's great when you get the opportunity to play with fantastic musicians like this who, you know, they're, they're play with everybody that's anybody in the jazz world. So it's a great experience for me, you know. But normally I just have to go and play with whoever, who's ever there, you know. Uh, you won't get rich being a jazz singer. <laughs> when, I, when I was about 13, my dad had loads of collections of Nat King Cole records. And I, had to have to, I, I used to have to sit and listen to them while he played them every Sunday, you know. And um, I hated him. Uh, but funny enough, I got to learn them all because I had to listen to them every Sunday. So I learned all Nat King Cole's tunes, you know. Uh, and it's funny, after, after he died, um, I started singing Nat King Cole you know. Uh, so he never actually really saw me doing that side of it because he loved Nat King Cole. Um, so I, I imagine that he was a big influence on me and my dad because of his, he had a, a great jazz collection of modern jazz as well as standard jazz, you know. So that's, while everybody else was listening to the Beatles, I was listening to Hellenius Monk and things like that, you know. <laughs> Experimenting with my voice, you know. So, um, uh, I, I just think that singing is supposed to be fun. You know, so, uh, I kind of approach it like that as a jazz singer. There's moments in the show where I'm really serious about the songs, and there's moments in the show where I bring a bit of humour in, because not not many people are driven towards jazz, so you've got to kind of bring them in. I, I think with, with jazz, it, it, it's a kind of uh, the mood and create you know the kind of club that you're in. And, uh, and the musicians that you're playing with um, and everything kind of changes uh, from, from night to night. Depends on where you are and who you're playing with. Uh, some nights are great, some nights are really bad for me, you know. Um, but at the, at the end of the day, uh, it's something that I love doing and um, I'm just lucky that I have, I've got a voice, you know, uh, but I, I practice a lot. any young people out there who want to get into it, you know, you get to practice quite a lot. Wherever in the world you go, you know, there's this common thing. Uh, you might not be able to speak the same language, but as soon as you put the music in front of them, they just play it. And it's, it's great, you know, it's a kind of connection. Um, that's why I love it so much, you know. Um, I mean, I play with, with guys that don't speak a word of English, and yet when they're playing the music, we all kind of connect, you know. Um, that's the beauty of it. There was a little lull in my career where, when uh, before I, was doing, I went from jazz and then I went into uh, a punk band, you know. <laughs> and then I signed with EMI and I toured with Annie Lennox when she was with the Tourists many years ago. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then after that, uh, I left them and then uh, went and joined a reggae band for about three years. And we played in the Notting Hill Carnival. And then um, then I got back into jazz again because that was that was my real love and for. For my voice, you know, I was getting on a bit, and so, you know, you have to think about your voice and how you're going to use it, and jazz is just a really nice thing for me to do because, you know, I've got this bass baritone voice, and if I've carried on playing with big bands, I'd have lost that voice, so now I'm really happy, I'm in a nice kind of, get the voice deal, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I've uh, kind of been through the whole spectrum of music, the rock, reggae, and to the jazz, you know, yeah.
<laughs> cool, you know. Thank you. Thank you.